guys, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day. Hope you guys had a great week. Welcome to my Saturday, Saturday's Weekly Beauty Hits and Misses. As you guys know, I try to do this every Saturday. It's kind of like a Friday favorites um, and fails. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Maria and I try to, as I mentioned, if I haven't mentioned, I try to do this every Saturday. I've been really bad about getting this up on Sunday, so I'm determined to get my videos uploaded for you guys on time. So that's why I'm filming and getting this ready for you guys. Um, before I jump into Weekly Beauty Favorites, I want to share with you a couple of lipsticks that I forgot to mention in my uh, July Favorites that I just filmed. And uh, let me just quickly mention them. They were, um, it was the Sprevlon one, a Super Lustrous Lipstick in, in the Pearl Finish, Porcelain Pink, number 651. One of my friends sent this to me, and I finally got it out. Um, I had used it, I think, once or twice other, but just fell in love with it the last month. Such a pretty lipstick. Pretty finish. And, of course, the other one I was going nuts about last month was, of course, Airy Fairy. I had picked up. No, I picked up another one last month. It was a different one, but it was a Rim of London lipstick. And, you know, these are some of my favorites. My Holy Grail lipsticks. I love these things. Okay, so that was it. I just wanted to throw that in there. Okay, let's stay on the lip wagon and let me go ahead and jump into what my favorite lip products were. I did go over with these uh, a little bit more. Um, I did like a seven minute uh, Thursday. I usually do a three minute Thursday but I had to expand it. And that's the LA Colors Lipsticks and Chunky Lip Pencils. I fell in love with these especially the Natural Shine. I have talked about these many many times. This is just a perfect nude lipstick. It's only a buck. You can find them at Dollar General. I think you can find them at Dollar General. I found them at Dollar Tree. I have a backup of this one. I could not put this down enough. It was just such a pretty um, lipstick. I paired it with the Jordana Easy Liner for lips and latte. Um, I'm starting to get into wearing my lip liners. And what I did was I outlined my lips. I don't have it on today. Filled it in and then went in with that lipstick. And it looked so pretty. And these are the retractable lip pencils. And for me, it helped has helped my lipsticks stay on, uh, stay in place. And then, like every other day of, whenever I did graph this, uh, like every other time, my New York City, New York City, New, New York color, New, New York City, love this, my Holy Grail lip gloss, and I paired it with that. Awesome. So, really, really dug that lip combo. I think that was pretty much my favorite lip combo the entire week. And pretty much all the entire month. Now, also the LA Color Chunky Lip Pencils. I like the pink one. I wore it a couple of times, but I really like the nude one. I'm just in a nude lip mode right now. And the only gripe I have about this is the fact that it, I don't know if it's the packaging or what's going on, but it's like it easily, you barely move it and it seems to melt or something. But it's a really decent lip balm type product. As you can tell, you can twist it up. And for only a dollar, I mean, I know you get what you you pay for, but it was really awesome this week. But those are the lip products I enjoyed this week. I have a new lipstick on that. A new, new, did I say nude? <laughs> a new lipstick that I bought at um, Big Loss that I still have yet to haul. I have to do that. On my to-do list, I'll probably get to that Sunday before I get that filmed, to be honest with you guys. Okay, eyeliners. I used this Georgina the non-retractable one and I told you guys uh, that this is kind of a hard pencil to work with but this actually did quite well. I have it on my eyelid, uh, my lower lash line at least. I think I have it on my lower upper lash line. It was kind of early in the morning since I applied it. I know that's silly, right? But this is actually pretty good. I mean it's still kind of hard to work with but I really did enjoy it so, you know. And I, you can find these, um, pretty on the inexpensive side. I prefer their, their retractable. Any Anything re, anything that's uh, retractable uh, from any company as far as lip and eyeliner. Um, I really do enjoy this eyeliner. But, you know, I definitely try to make this work and it's nice to kind of put this on and maybe smudge it out a little bit, which I did um, do at once. I was playing around with the look. So, you know. On my nails, I got a new set of nails, and I bought this nail polish yesterday at Big Lots, and it's already becoming a favorite. Um, my nose. I'm in the process of transitioning out my spring and summer colors to my fall and winter colors. I usually try to do that about this time of year, I think. 
and I think I said on Instagram this is rainforest, but I meant to say rainstorm. It's from the company Simple Colors. It's just a really pretty color blue. I'll try to remember to post a, you know, the picture to it. But yeah, this is definitely a favorite. I just finally got around to doing my nails, and I really love how it just gets me jump started to fall. There's the nail look I did. I did. Um, I used two different um, glitter nail polishes from two different companies. So they're really beautiful blue color, especially for the fall. And you can tell it was only a dollar. Okay, the color I've been pl playing around with the uh, two color tattoos uh, that I shared with you guys. The other one that I have that has really it changes color. I'm going to actually have to put this in my makeup basket next week again because I it would have to call for me to do a really dramatic bright look and I'm working an evening shift and so I don't want to do a whole lot to my eyeballs even though I did the smoky look. But I definitely love that one but the one I used quite a bit and I have this one on today. It's a color tattoo in Precious Pearl. Um, I got this at Big Loss a while back. I have never used it. I actually got another one of these and sent it to one of my friends and I think she liked it. But this to me is like a champagne color, ta color tattoo. It was just something different and fun for me to try out. And I shared it with you guys in my makeup basket of the week, I think on Monday. So it's really pretty. It held up my eyeshadow pretty well and I just, I loved it. It was so awesome. The foundation of the week that I really fell in love with was, you know, still a favorite. It's the Wet n Wild Beauty Benefits Ultimate Cover foundation. It's more of a tinted moisturizer type thing if you don't want something heavy. Um, I wouldn't say it's full coverage. I would say it's like a tinted moisturizer coverage type feel. And I got this at Dollar Tree. This is the backup I have of it because I had another bottle of it and I still do where I mix it in with another one and kind of made it a little funky. But I've definitely been enjoying this today. I didn't put it on today because I was wanting to wear something else. So if you find this at your Dollar Tree, definitely go check it out. I'm in the lightest shade that they have. That they have. I think it was fair. And the powder of the week that I fell in love with, of course, my New York Color Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. Oh, love this. I think I use this just about every single day with the exception of the Milani Multitasker. I had to use that once or something. But this is just a really white powder that, yeah, it does make a mess, but I have it on today. It just goes on and mattifies your face really nicely, and I love this. This is like 2 $3 probably at the drugstore. Definitely worth picking up. Now you guys know I talked about this uh, next product. I mentioned I wasn't super impressed with it, but for what I needed it to do, it actually impressed me for once this week, and that's the Maybelline Mineral Power Natural Perfecting Concealer. Now they don't make this anymore, and I found two of these at Big Lots a while back and sent one of my friends who says it was a holy girl. Um, I think I sent no, I haven't sent it to her yet. <laughs> I haven't got around to doing it, but um, no. I don't remember if I did or not, but the point is I bought it, and I actually used it this week. I'm in the shade Ivory. So I grabbed two of them because me and her are in the same skin family, and I actually used it to fill in the bags of my eyes to mainly give, I was going for like a fresh wake, a wake look, and I think that's what it did, and I'll also use it a few times and tell I'm breaking out like a mofo. Yeah, so it did pretty good. I mean, it's not like the best concealer in the world, but it's actually pretty decent. So if you happen to see this at Big Lots or any place like that, give it a try. You know, I've had I've had other long-lasting concealers in the drugstore, even though it's not claiming to be a long-wearing concealer. I've had other concealers just do way better, but you know, it wasn't bad. For blushes, I picked two. Fusia Fusion from Elf Studio. I know it's got a crack in it. That's where I dropped it. I have a backup of this. It's got some glitter shim I guess that's glitter chunks. But when you blend it out, for me, whenever I blend it out my skin, I don't notice them. And if it leaves me a little sparkly, that's fine. I just think it adds to it. So it's really, really pretty. I, just, I think it's like a mauve color. And it's only $3 at the drugstore. So love that one. And then I also love their baked blushes. Paintastic, I think, is my favorite. Um, my other favorite um, highlighter. And I will uh, probably go back to Kroger and get another one of these because they, my Kroger grocery store does sell this. So going to Target. Looks like this. Just a really pretty highlight. If you haven't tried some of these baked blushes, you really need to get your hands on them. A lot of them, you can use them for highlighters and 
so the antenna news. But it's just a really pretty... It reminds me of what the Wet n Wild Fergie one does, the Shimmer palette does. Even though this is smaller. But it's just a really, really pretty shimmer. Gives you a really nice shimmery glow. And I will wear this throughout the year, too. So, really did enjoy wearing that this week. It was really awesome. My favorite, uh, one of my favorite eyeshadow looks that I mentioned in my, my monthly favorites was one I pulled. And I posted a picture on my Instagram, which, by the way, is no longer... Um, private. Um, I set up another Instagram account for me and my husband to use for personal use. That way I don't bombard you guys with our personal pictures, you know. But I did post this and this is the Gilded Ages Trio that a friend of mine uh, sent me. She was sweet enough to uh, send this to me. You can get the same look from your Naked One palette or any Naked One dupe. And I put this color on the lid. This color in the crease. And I think, I don't know if I mentioned it last week's video. If I did, I'm so sorry, but still one of my favorites. So, I love this look. I felt like I got my uh, eye blending on point, and it just it made me feel and look really beautiful. Now, this next palette, I fell back in love with it. I have it on today, and I wore it yesterday. My next Wicked Dreams palette. Let me clean it off here. Now, this is about a $15 palette if you can find this. I don't like the blue color in here, but I can always depot those. It's got a really big old mirror, as you can tell. And I've just been using it you know, a little bit here and there, and I really do like it. So, you know, maybe I'll start pulling it out more. I have the matte shadows on today. I have these two colors right here on my eyelid today. I didn't want to do anything super dramatic, even though it looks dramatic. So, yeah. This is definitely a great palette for 15 bucks. You can't go wrong. And my last favorite was this Ellie Colors Bold Eyes eyeshadow. I'm still going to work on a video for you guys with the eyeshadows. I just haven't finished testing them in a while. I'm actually going to wear... Uh, this other one, these other two, uh, I plan on wearing, uh, Hot, H-A-U-T, tomorrow. And hopefully Sunday I'm going to, it's going to go back in my makeup basket, but it'll be, um, playful. But this one is the one in basics, and I mentioned a couple of times that I cannot find Smoky Warm in my area. Dollar Trees have it, so I'm like, you know what, whatever. Even though I really, really want it. Uh, my friend Abby, Happy Liver After 99, had done a look with it, and I'm like, ugh. She shows a look, and I really want it, and I can't find it, but, you know, oh well. But this is just a really pretty, decent purple eyeshadow palette, uh, you know, for bright colors, and it did pretty well. I'm not saying it's the world's super best purple eyeshadow palette I've tried, but this is de definitely not a miss for me. So I was really, you know, quite pleased with this one. And you may have to add on, um, maybe add on to the eyeshadow, eyeshadow color just to make it work. But, you know, it really went bad, though. And I'm trying to think if that was it. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. I'm so sorry it takes me a while to, get, to comment back to you guys. I just realized that they had switched the, the way we do our YouTube comments where you go to Create Studio. And so I'm having to make sure I go on there every day to return your comments. So if it takes me, return your comments reply to your comments so if it takes me a little bit of time please bear with me and I really appreciate your support if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you like this video and you're not subscribed please feel free to subscribe I appreciate all your support and I'll see you in my next video take care for now and have a great weekend